A R K. It's Ark. <laughs> it's not in the game. It actually is, but all right. So welcome to Ark, dudes. Um, I recently did a poll on my YouTube community section where I asked people, asked I asked people whether they would be a pirate. No, I didn't. Actually, that that should be a thing. But but I asked them. Do you want me to play Rust or Ark? Ark or Rust? And people voted 75% for Ark. And I, I'm glad because I actually like playing Ark. So so we're going to we're gonna make some Ark videos now, dudes. We're going to make some Ark videos. Let's see how this goes. Uh, for my first video, I want to show you what setup I'm using to play solo. Uh, because I, I like playing without lag. And there's not many servers that I can play on that don't have lag. You know, like where you do something and it doesn't really happen instantly or shoot an arrow and it doesn't really land where it should you know like so you should know that I am actually still quite a relatively new player to Ark I have not killed any Titans or done something extremely major heck I haven't even tamed a T-Rex yet yeah uh, so I'm still learning I'm playing on the island right now because I want to play through all the story arcs but I'm playing with these settings as well because I want to finish the story and, and go through each map to really get that experience going you know because arc is actually quite fun I played Pixar and I really enjoyed it and I, I'm, I'm on arc now and I'm like yo let's let's get into this so first thing I've changed here is the difficulty level to one because people just said always have it on maximum because if you don't um, some animals are di and dinosaurs animals some dinosaurs creatures whatever will like not be the best that they could be and i like to have them be the best that they could be so i'll just keep that there then the next one is xp multiplier um i've had this on 10 for a while but i think five is a better option because 10 gets you to max level very quickly um but five helps you really gate those experiences but not as much as it needed to be gate you know because if you don't have a experience multiplier you often like get to a point where you're like oh i need to level 20 levels to unlock that so what the hell do i do taming speed i like to keep it on 10 because i don't like waiting for for tames i'm just i just don't man later level you wait a few minutes or a couple of minutes anyway so the beginning of these things are fast harvest amount 10 because i don't want to harvest too much crap too quickly i want to like you know have to like farm some stuff you know every now and again i don't want to hit one tree i'm like cool i don't need wood ever again i've got two million wood <laughs> you know nobody wants two million wood um then i've got character water drain on minus two right now i'm actually gonna push that up to 0 0.5 did i say minus two i meant 0 0.2 I'm pushing that up to 0 0.5 because that's I don't like being hungry and thirsty every two minutes. Um, just that's just me. So if if you like being hungry and thirsty all the time, go for one, dude. I I don't like to sit by a campfire cooking food for for hours. Then there's player character stamina drain. I don't like waiting, this, dude. Like this game is all about waiting and patience. I. I don't like waiting. <laughs> Make that 0.2. I'm just keeping that on 0.2, dude. I, I, I like to run for a long time. Health recovery, 2. I like to recover health fast after I almost got killed. That's perfect. I'm okay with that. I haven't changed anything there. Um, that's fine. Make sure you got crosshair on. Just easier. PvE mode. Not that it's going to be PvP. Show map player location. This is quite important. I don't know why this was turned off on the default setting. At least mine was. Uh, this basically shows where you are on your map. Trust me, this is so helpful. You don't want to search for your base for like 10 hours because you don't know where your base is or you don't know where you are in relation to your base. <laughs> so just just get that, dude. It's just easier. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the general settings. Then we're going to advance, which there is another tab here, by the way. I didn't notice this the first time around. Um, so what we change here is some very interesting stuff, especially in regards to dinosaurs. Uh, my dinosaurs are a bit too strong, to be honest, but I like it that way. Um, so, from what I saw in another tutorial, people put the egg hatch speed on 10, even though I've not really made dinosaur babies yet. I, and baby mature speed 10, they do that as well, because apparently you gotta get stuff for the baby, and it's just, it's annoying, or something. At least what people say. I don't know, we'll see what 10 is like. To be honest, if you know what you're doing here, keep it on 1 or whatever. But everyone keeps saying, put it on a higher thing. So I'm like, I'm going to put it on a higher thing. Harvest health, I put on three because that means you can get more resources from things that you like hit. So you'll punch a tree for like six hours to, to get all the wood. Not really that long. But it, it, it just gives some more wood and just lets you farm a bit longer. So it just, it just I, I'm okay with that. You know, hitting a tree a bit longer. Nighttime speed, I put on 10 because, uh nighttime speed, dude. I, it's, night is frustrating, dude. I don't like night. Uh, spoiling time. I didn't change this at all um, because 
there are items and mods that can help you with spoilings, uh, foods, and stuff. Because you you need to keep pretty much every <laughs> resource that you have early game. You're like, rotten meat? I don't need that shit. And then you're like, you get like a, a few more minutes into the game and you're like, rotten meat? Shit, I needed that shit <laughs> to make like narcotics and stuff for, for tranquilizing darts. Who would have thought? Okay, so while dinos, I keep the stats all on one, 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 one. Cool. Tame dinos, I kind of um, push up the health by 10, stamina by 10, weight by 5, speed by 2, and damage to 1. Because it's not on 1 by default. For some reason, your dinosaur does less damage once they're tamed. I think that's stupid. Uh, but hey, weight, I like to have on 5 because dinosaurs, I just they just need to carry more stuff, okay? Health, 10, because that's a bit too high, to be honest. That's way too high. Um... But I like it like that. <laughs> so I'm going to keep playing with that because I don't like my dinosaurs dying so easily. Stamina 10 as well because y you know what I mean if you've ever flown something before. Um, tamed add per level stamina because I like to add more stamina and weight as I go. I like to add more of those. I don't know if I changed speed here. I don't know what the default for speed was. But basically, stamina and weight are the, the two things that I buff up all the time. Um... I don't think I changed anything there. Player stats per level. I put up my stamina to two because I like to have lots of stamina. And my temperature, fortitude, blah, blah, blah. Put on five because I hate being cold all the time. Dude, I hate a lot of things. <laughs> don't judge me. And also, I like to have this on show. Floating battle text. This will show the damage that is being done to you or that you are doing to other players or... Um, what dinosaurs are damaging to buildings and stuff. So it will show like numbers on screen. Um, green if you're doing the damage. Yellow if you're receiving it. Red if you're like getting hit by like spikes or some other stuff. But usually it's just yellow and green. I don't see red that often. With regards to mods. Oh my god, dudes. You are going to want mods. You're going to want mods, right? So the mods that you're going to want. Automated arc is very nice um it's very similar to structures plus so you might get confused having these two uh honestly you could probably just pick one of them though i end up using automated arc a lot more than structures plus but structures plus keeps your items and stuff very similar to the the, the original game except you have duplicates of everything utilities plus is amazing dude trust me trust me you want utilities plus it's, I don't know what it does. Uh, <laughs> stack me more, I think, just stacks items to higher levels instead of, like, interval groups of 20, you know, like, meat 20, and then you've got, like, 2,000 meat. So you got 200 stacks of 200 meat or 10 meat or there's 100 stacks of 220 pieces of meat. I don't know. It's lots of stacks of food that you don't need. So have it in a stack of 2,000 is much easier. Better reusables? Oh, my gosh, dude. Early game, this is amazing. Also for grappling hook, actually, so late game as well. So it makes certain items be able to use over and over and over again without having to craft them. Because in some cases, some of them use it once and then it's gone. Like the bola, the parachute, the grappling hook, things that you'll be using a lot of. So instead of having to craft like 80 of them and keep them in your inventory, you just need one. Super spyglass. I haven't actually made this one yet, even though I can, now that I realized. I just, I, I, I forgot about it. You can use it to aim at a dinosaur and get, like, lots of stats on that dinosaur. So you can really plan, like, hey, is this one dinosaur I really want to tame? Or blah, 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 blah. Easy Cryo. Oh, my God, dude. I just installed this one, and it is amazing. It lets you, um, basically, like, Pokemon the shit out of dinosaurs. <laughs> Like, you see a dinosaur, you tame it, you're like, yeah, all right, how the fuck do I get to, to my base? I've only got a pterodon, I just tamed a T-Rex, which is probably not the case, to be honest, but hey, a man can dream. So, let's say you've tamed this goddamn T-Rex, and you're like, okay, cool, uh, I don't have a saddle for you, 100% I do not have a saddle for you, because I'm not that level yet. Um, so, you pull out your Pokeball, which is your cryopod thing, and you just use it in front of him, the dinosaur that you just tamed, and it will like, do like some blue lights and shit, and boom, tamed! And well, not tamed. You already tamed it, but it's in the ball now, and it weighs like 0 0.5. But it probably can be configed, I think. Anyway, then you get on your flying mount, fly back to your base. Cool. You get home, you throw out the pokeball. Boom! There is your T Rex. Easy. You can also take all your dinosaurs with you. Let's see. You want to move? You want to move bases? <laughs> get this mod, please. Trust me. You don't want to move like all your dinosaurs. 
or do what I did and not actually let them die one by one. All right, so the way that you install these mods, um, I'll keep a screenshot of the mods on screen so you can see the names. Uh, you basically go to your workshop, go to ARC's workshop, by the way, which is on your community hub. So you can go to library games, right click on the game, visit community hub. Um, you can even see it from your store page, basically. And then you go to workshop over here, right? So here's where you can find the mods. So let's say um, Easy Cry Cryo. We'd Cairo. I'm gonna say Cairo. Easy Cryo. It's this one over here, right? So you will search for it. Make sure it's like uh, relevance or popular so that the right one pops up. But trust me, you'll find it quite easy. So any mod that you want, you can basically search for it and find it in the workshop over here. Or you can even go into servers uh, that are made and basically join them. When you join them, it will download some. Of, most of them will download mods. You can see what mods they're using, and the mods will kind of install in your computer for the next time you go. So ex next time you go into single player, you'll see like, holy crap, I've got more mods. And then basically figure out which ones you want to use. Maybe find interesting ones that I don't know about yet. Uh, these are the ones that I know about and that I'm using currently that actually help me a lot. So I'm actually enjoying them. So that's pretty much how I make my little solo experience and stuff. So I'll get more into some interesting videos. If you want me to do anything in particular, please let me know. Um, I currently plan on doing some little maybe base showcase, some building showcases and stuff to see what you can build, what you can make and stuff. Might be some interesting stuff that I haven't really looked into yet. Um, I might also do like a little how to tame series, how to tame like each dinosaur as a tame, like the easiest way, <laughs> my encounters with them, like what's the best way to like not get killed by like a, a dodo or something. That didn't happen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if I died to a dodo, I'd probably really not play this game because that would be embarrassing. I don't know how I would live on as a human being after being killed by a dodo. But I have been killed by a tricer 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 triceratops. Why is that so hard to say sometimes? Yeah, welcome to the game that the dinosaurs have names that you cannot say. Like Pteranodon, Giga Giga Shemelegamex. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching. <laughs> Stay tuned for some more ARK Survival Evolved. Arrgh!